Right on! Hey, welcome to the show today. We are going to draw Horton the Elephant from Dr. Seuss using our oh. hand. Stay tuned. I got to do my All right. We are ready. So the first thing what you want to do is you're going to trace your hand. You're going to start right here and you're going to trace around your fingers just like this. You can use a pencil or a marker, crayon, whatever you have and try not to move your fingers but if you accidentally slip that's okay. The nice thing about doing art is you can always fix your mistakes. So you end right about here. Okay, Lucas, this looks nice. Now don't move anything. What you want to do is make, make a nice round half circle all the way to there. Okay? Awesome. Wait. And I'm going to do the same thing, Lucas. I'm going to go from here. I'm going to go all the way over to this point here. Now, we're going to turn our papers upside down. I really like the way you did your, your elephant. Yours is going to turn out awesome. Now what we're going to do is we're going to draw right about here a oval for his eye. Is he a firework? Dr. Seuss likes to draw ovals for his eye and he likes to have eyelids too. So right here you draw half a circle. And then you can color the rest of that part in. Now for the pupil, Dr. Seuss also likes to have pupils, just like that. Now, right about here is where we're going to draw our mouth. And it's like a half a circle, almost like that. And a little, little U to finish this mouth out. And then we're going to put just little half use for the trunk. And as they go down, they get just a little bit stronger. This smaller. And this represents the folds in his trunk. My big one. So it get bigger. Yeah. My big one. So it get bigger. It bigger. It bigger. It bigger. <laughs> you are having so much fun, aren't you? Now we are going to draw the ear. Now watch what we're going to do with the ear. Kind of try to pretend to draw it without mark making any marks. You're going to go up here, kind of like it, kind of go up to the top a little bit and then come down. So I will, I'll show you first. So we're going to start right here and the way Horton's ears go up, he goes up here like this. And daddy, then I doubt Daddy, down. I doubt Daddy. See, we both way. All right, and then you make a couple little I'll do little the waves just like that. I'll do set it. Okay. I'll do set it down. Now, let's, can I see yours? Yeah. Let's put your ears here. So right now, start here. Can you put, start right there? Okay. All right. I want you to start right here and you make, draw it all the way to there. Draw a line from here to there. Okay. All right. Now, I want you to take from here Go all the way down to there. And kind of a curved line if you can. Okay. Now you're going to make little zigzags going all the way to about there. So make little zigzags like little waves. Nice. Now what we're going to do is we're going to put a tail on Horton and we're going to you you start right here and you're going to make a line that comes all the way down to here. So, we will start right about here and come all the way I down. Say, Daddy. I like that. And then the end of this tail, you want to make a little little kind of uh, little pieces of hair that kind of come out. Okay? Nice. I love your elephant. Now down here, we're going to make some toes, so toenails, so kind of come out like that. I do like, I do like toes on my... You don't want toes on your elephant? Then that's okay. If you don't want to put toes on your elephant, you don't have to. If you want to put shoes on your elephant, you can. I'll put shoes. Okay, put some shoes on Fire it. shoes. Fire shoes. 
Lucas loves fire trucks. He's going to put some shoes on there. Then you can go ahead later and color your Horton. You can color it blue. You need your lid. All right. So let's see what it would look like colored blue. Hey, thanks a lot for watching the show today. I hope you enjoyed drawing Horton the elephant with your hand. Make sure you check out my other videos on here. We are also gonna be doing Horton the elephant with hand painting. So that is something you do not want to miss. Once again, have a fun day. I wanna to talk to you later. Bye-bye.